This is a short PSA for the Datafrog SF2000. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Datafrog SF2000 is a small and cheap handheld that's been popular because of its price. It kind of looks like a Super Nintendo controller. It can emulate NES games and Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games fine, but it does struggle with anything above that. However, after recent firmware updates, Game Boy Advance and SNES games seem to perform much better now. Moving on to the actual problem, there is one small flaw that does seem to cause some concern, however. There's a nice post summarizing the concern by user Zap129 in this Reddit post. Apparently, the Datafrog SF2000, when left on, will continue to discharge the battery even when the battery is depleted. This is pretty dangerous as recharging an over-discharged lithium-ion battery can cause it to catch on fire and or explode. If you don't believe me, you can go watch some videos on YouTube. There is a hardware mod someone made to prevent a data frog from doing this, but I can't seem to find the post anymore. There is a much simpler fix, and that is to buy a protected 18650 cell and replace the battery. A protected cell has circuitry built into the cell to prevent overcharging, overdischarging, overheating, and more. Now, swapping the battery isn't 100% necessary because replacing these batteries are on the expensive side and in some cases can be around the same cost as the console itself. All you have to do is to remember to always, and I mean always, turn the device off when not in use. If you give the device to a young child, I would recommend swapping out the battery as soon as possible. For replacements, there is a guide from user Parametric listing out reputable sellers of the 18650 cells. The basic advice is to avoid buying anything on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, Timu, and to avoid buying any cells that claim they are above 3600 mAh. This is due to the large amount of counterfeit cells that can also present a fire hazard. I will include the links to the posts in the description and comments below. As a side note, some users have reported their R35Ss designed in such a way where the screws are impacting the lithium-ion battery over time as it expands and almost puncturing the battery. That is a spicy pillow indeed. This is also a fire hazard. Retro handheld enjoyers are definitely living life on the edge. This post comes from user Dystopia XP and it's a very welcome post. If you guys have an R35S or a collection of older handhelds just sitting in a drawer somewhere, I would recommend taking a look at the batteries and removing them from the devices you don't use anymore. I would also take them to a facility that properly disposes these batteries because these things are just a fire waiting to happen. Now, I don't think these devices are catching on fire and exploding frequently because otherwise you would hear of such things all the time. But even if the risk of catching on fire is relatively low, you're essentially spending a few minutes of your time to remove batteries from unused devices and at most, even spending some dollars to replace a battery. At worst, you wasted a few minutes of your time and some money that won't be enough to buy a so-called value meal at McDonald's at this point, and at best, you prevented the fire from starting. Take this information as you will. Obviously, everything can be faked on the internet, but this information seems to be reliable enough. Hope it helped and catch you guys next time. Avoid those spicy pillows.